The absolute most important lesson you can learn in crypto is to counter trade your own emotions. And right now the emotion screams fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Yet that's not what the story of on-chain metrics, that's not what the story of money flow is showing. So what we're gonna outline for you is clear evidence of a massive bear trap. And historically speaking, we're right in line with what things looked like in September of 2017 and September of 2013 before absolutely ridiculous bull runs. That's right, we're gonna look at a parabolic explosive move coming in very soon. But of course, you're not going to get there if you get shaken out of your coins in times like what we're experiencing right now. So if you guys are excited to hear about this massive bull trap and altcoins that are going to produce literally insane 100x gains, not in the space of years, but in the space of months and weeks, smash that like button. And remember, each and every comment on this video is entered to win your own hardware wallet. And of course, if you're not subscribed, I'm going to be putting out not just one video, but multiple videos a day. They're going to have the tools to actually find stuff early. Early. Of course, this is going to reward those hardworking, smart, and intelligent people. I'm done spoon feeding people because spoon feeding people is the path to hell as a YouTuber, I promise you guys. So if you have your thinking hats on, you're going to be ahead of the class and you're going to be in the proper projects that are actually going to absolutely moon over the coming days and weeks. So make sure you're subscribed and have that bell notification on because this stuff is going to move extremely fast starting right now. Let's dive in. So once again, what do we see? As the price starts to get very panicky, we see the big whales gobbling up the supply, and more importantly, Bitcoin is leaving the exchanges. What do we know when Bitcoin leaves the exchanges? Well, people aren't selling, they're holding, right? That's how it works each and every time. So understanding what's going on with the money flow, you remember my video with Will Clemente yesterday? Yeah, we're talking about the real deal money flow here. This isn't that kind of, oh, we're gonna react to every one minute chart time frame change on the price. No, if you react to the actual overall flow of funds, then you know how people are actually trading the market at the highest level of Bitcoin, and that impacts the rest of the market. We've done video after video after video on this, so if you don't already know how Bitcoin affects the market, you're probably too new to be trading these altcoins anyway, so you should probably watch another channel because this stuff is way too advanced for you. That said, of course, there's tons of risk, and you need to invest with money you're actually comfortable seeing get cut in half, cut 80% down, because that's the risk you take whenever you buy any coin in crypto, is that stuff could tank in a major, major way. Now, that said, this to me, smells like a massive, disgusting, gross bear trap where they're essentially trying to get people to trap themselves into being bearish, sell their coins right before we actually have the explosive and life-changing moon cycle that takes us to 100K Bitcoin, a many, many trillion dollar market cap. And with it, we're gonna see Ethereum, the L1s, and of course, those juicy low cap alts make storybook gains. It happens all at the end, like a massive climax here at the bull run. That's what's going to happen. And it's only if you you're going to play this right, that you're going to be there to enjoy the fruits, the splendors of this bountiful harvest. So don't get trapped here. Don't let your emotions blind you from what's really going on. Bitcoin is leaving the exchanges. And yes, we very well might sweep the lows. Let's check this out. We have several traders here identifying that we could sweep down to the lows here and that they're looking to add exposure. We have Will Clemente explaining that BTC is fighting to hold the 200 day moving average. If we lose it, we probably sweep the lows. Benjamin here says, you were so bullish, now you changed. Ha ha ha. He says, now nah, I'm highly bullish time frame, sir. And that's exactly it. If you understand that we're short term bearish and that that's going to lead to a refueling to a massive explosive bull cycle, then you're ahead of the class and you're probably gonna be in the driver's seat on this next move. The market is full of fake outs and right now the fake out is to the downside. We have Zapin Trader here saying crypto looks kind of trappy here. I feel like it could sweep the lows. Still have pretty low exposure. If it sweeps the lows, that's where I'd wanna increase exposure. Again, everybody's looking for those low 40s to increase exposure. Now, typically when everybody's looking at it the same way, it doesn't quite give them the satisfaction. So that might be one argument that we don't don't even sweep the lows. I'm impartial because I'm allocated to the market. I still have, you know, a decent amount of dry powder. I just have, I keep stable coins for my sanity. And of course, if we sweep the lows again and we get a massive dump on some of my favorite projects, which we'll talk about here in a second, then I'll definitely add more exposure, but I'm certainly, certainly well allocated here. So I would love for us to be up only. Now, Plan B, of course, I wanted to point this out. Plan B had this post back at 4.37 a.m. on June 20th. This was months ago. And he said, we could see August, worst case scenario, at over 47K. We hit that. We could close September, worst case scenario, over 43K. You notice how there's a dip here from August to September. And that, of course, goes with the cycles that we've repeated in the past. Now, I personally think we're divorcing ourselves from these four-year cycles. But history tends to rhyme here and look what 
we're having another annoying September, but it really is setting up a similar fractal to what we've seen in the past, which to me smells like a massive blow off top coming towards the end of the year, which is my most likely scenario. Of course, I believe the bear markets will be less severe and less lengthy than in the past. There's just so much activity, development, and growth, user growth going on here in crypto. I don't believe that we will see a multi-year bear market. It just doesn't seem likely. But that said, I do think we're going to see a massive blow off top here at some point. And it does feel like the end of the year is when this is going to happen. Now, I wanted to bring this up because we have Eric Crown here. I'm going to link this video in the description showing how um, this video is too long for me to actually play uh, within the context of this video you're watching, but I'll link this and you should watch this. Now, he does say that this is hopium to a degree. Eric Crown is not a very long-term fundamentals driven. He's a trader. He likes to trade off just straight up technicals here, but he's showing how this particular moment that we're in perfectly mimics the September uh, 2013 pop as well as the September 2017 pop here. Um, I definitely think this is worth watching. You definitely want to see what he has to say here. There's a lot of evidence that we have literally repeated history here and that we're setting up for a massive move to the upside on Bitcoin. And we all know what happens when Bitcoin makes a massive move to the upside. I also can't fathom in this macro environment that we don't get continued growth in Bitcoin. The world is drowning in cash, drowning in cash, and Bitcoin is the easiest bet against the current monetary policy. And here we see a Another very, very convincing on-chain metric. This is why on-chain metrics are so, so useful here, cutting through the noise of panicky price action. Because what do we see here? Just a couple of days ago, that we have a new all-time high for the Bitcoin 200 week moving average. That means that the average price of Bitcoin over time is growing and now just hit a new all-time high, even though Bitcoin's daily price or current trading price was not at that all-time high. Again, you have to peel back the layers to see what's going on here. We see an overall continued growth. Now we also see what I think is even more important is that the realized cap, the actual cost that people have paid for their Bitcoin has never been higher. For the 18 18.8 million Bitcoin in circulation, the price that people have actually paid for those is now the highest it's ever been, meaning that the closer we get that Bitcoin price to the current price or the higher it goes, the less likely people are to sell for lower and lower values. That means that everyone's paid more and more for this Bitcoin and they want it to keep going up. That is a very, very key and important metric. When Bitcoin moves too fast, that means that people are sitting on a ton of profits and the temptation to realize those becomes all too tempting. Now let's play a game. I told you guys that the early moving polka dot projects that were able to secure crowd loans and parachains were going to go absolutely stupid, insane. And what did we get? Moon River here, who, which we didn't cover specifically on this chart. But if you were following this trend and you were listening to pretty much any of the content I've put out over the last few months, Moon River was an easy first mover in the Kusama and polka dot ecosystem. And I know you're not going to sleep on the next ones because obviously these projects are going to be key pieces of infrastructure. And like I said, they have a protective moat. You always look for protective moats in crypto and blockchain because they're so hard to find. Usually community is the only protective moat that you have. But in the Kusama and Polkadot world, you actually have this thing called crowd loans. We've done a video on it. We've actually made content with Dan over at Akala, another project that I think has a tremendous amount of upside and that when it hits the market, it may go through some crazy volatility for the first few days. You may want to let it cool off like all initial launches. But when it does find some stability, it seems like that would be a high percentage bet as well. Same with Moon River here. And again, we talked about Moonbeam, the network that it's based on several times on this channel. And I'm laying out the cookie crumbs for you to make these crazy gains. Of course, this is only about a 4X. We want more gains than that. We're looking at 10, 100 Xs. And that is certainly possible here in this market. But it's not going to be possible if you're just spraying and praying. It's not going to be possible if you don't do your homework. And it's not going to be possible if you don't learn to counter trade emotions in the market and buy things when no one else is looking at them. That is the magic secret sauce of crypto. Now, of course, we're getting a little bit of cooling here in Solana. You know, this is to be expected after such an astronomical rise, but Solana season, I do not think is over. This is going to continue. But again, there are other chains. There are other projects. There are other things that you can be looking at. Now, of course, Solana was extremely, extremely potent, but there are other chains. There are other projects and ecosystems that will produce absolutely crazy, crazy results. I personally couldn't be more excited for what's about to happen. So do your research, kids. Learn to peel back the layers because there is so 
so much alpha out there and it is not all popular. It's not all concentrated like it used to be. It's not the same game of just what's the next thing on Uniswap. So I really, really want you guys to open your brains and start doing your research here. And I'm gonna give you the tool sets, but I don't want you to wait for me to cover stuff because I believe in you. And if you're following my Twitter, which is going to be really critical, follow my Twitter with notifications on. Follow this YouTube with notifications on because there are so many high quality big tips that I'm gonna be providing here, but you need to have your bell on and you need to be first to the party and dissecting my content in order to get there. I'm taking a little page out of my friend Alex's book here because I really, really have been struggling to figure out how to give you my favorite projects without having them actually just immediately pump. I don't like creating price action. I wanna reward people and help people get ahead and help people get cozy before the actual waves happen. Just like I did with Convex Finance when I was telling you about this over and over again ad nauseum here at two and three dollars. I said, guys, this is crazy. Look at their TVL. This is one of the highest quality DeFi projects in the entire market. It's only a matter of time before it pops and look at it. It's up 7x or 6x plus. At one point it was up here about, you know, I guess it hit 15 the other day. So it's going to make its way back to $20. Why? Because it's got more TVL than anything else in the world right now. A lot of it in stable coins, right? So this TVL isn't rocking back and forth with the market. It's not just all volatile crypto that's going to tank, you you know, 50, 60% as the market does. This TVL is going parabolic. The actual use case for CVX is huge and you guys need to be aware of this project. But CVX is just one of the DeFi gems that I told you was gonna explode in, as we came into DeFi fall, DeFi autumn, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna be a massive, massive trend here. Just like Luna, just like the Terra ecosystem. There is a lot going on here and I've been laying out the cookie crumbs. I'll continue to do this. So make sure you're watching closely because there's gonna be all kinds of alpha alpha and hint buried in here. Watch the content once, watch the content twice, because there's going to be more and more data. I actually have a bigger team now, so we're putting in more and more information into each and every episode. That's right. This is going to get fun, but you gotta be paying close attention. So as we enter into bear trap territory, the opportunity to get bargain basement prices on some of the best coins in the entire ecosystem that will most likely be the recipients of much pumpage and much growth is absolutely there. Solana will most likely reach over $500 in a blow off top. You're also gonna see the other L1s make massive growth. You see now the early movers in Polkadot and Kusama are gonna get massive growth as well. And of course the same is true of Cardano and other ecosystems. Now, of course, you want to be following the news with these ecosystems because there are fundamental changes that are coming to them that are going to incentivize a ton of adoption. So you want to understand how that process is working. It's one of the major keys of this video. But also, of course, there are going to be actual high quality video games and gaming projects that are going to be releasing. A lot of the ones out there on the market are pretty low quality, but just know that this trend is coming and it's coming in waves. And as the market crashes, as Ethereum fees drop. That's when NFTs and the gaming ecosystem are going to come into full flex and absolutely explode. Somebody said it today, NFT Winter Wonderland is going to be a sight to behold. And right now I'm seeing some fire sale prices in NFT land, which is of course when everyone gets scared and runs away. Are you learning? Are you learning how to understand where the stores of value are gonna be, where the important tech is gonna be? Because if you develop your thesis right and you understand Polkadot and Kusama have parachains, early movers have protection and emote. So those early projects like Moon River are probably going to be good bets. Those are the types of theses that will help you get ahead of the market and stay ahead. And so we've been trying to give you the keys. Again, we're trying to give you the path to these coins. Because if I just make a video saying XYZ coin is gonna pump, then everyone's just going to try to jump into something at once and that's not healthy for anyone. But if I give you the keys to unlock these achievements on your own, then you will actually have a chance to get ahead of the market and getting ahead of crypto even for one day, even for one week can be life changing. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you have that bell notification on. If you like this video, smash the like button. And of course, we're going to be keeping you informed each and every step of the way. Thank you all for watching. My name is Elio Trades. You can find me on Twitter at Elio Trades. Have your notification bell on for that as well because I'm going to be combining cookies from both sides and the smartest and the fastest ninja warriors here are going to be the ones who benefit. I'll see you guys very soon on the next episode. Goodbye.